just so y'all know, it's not just some regular keyboard. Like, he's a scientist. If you like India, I read Donnie, uh, Floetry, uh, Bone Crusher, uh, Neo Soul. A lot of that wouldn't be where it is if it wasn't for Yin Yang. I don't know if you had an opportunity to go to Yin Yang. I don't know where y'all from. That was a spot where people would just come and perform. There's really talented people in here, so I can't come back in here until I know what I'm doing. If you're somebody that you think you're open and you think you're one, you know, you have these aspirations, you gotta end up at our door. Seeing Erica Badu, first time I ever saw her perform was at at Yin Yang, I'm sitting here, and Andre's sitting right next to me at the same table. Cameo would come in the house, chilling at the back bar. I don't know nobody who didn't come through Atlanta at that time who didn't come. I was a chef there, so I would cook and then leave from back there, go perform. The hood would come out, the eclectic people would come out, the tree huggers would come out. At one point, every time I wrote a song, I would go to a Yin Yang or Apache and get up on their open mic night. It didn't matter what the name was at the time. You walk in that space, I, I don't care if you didn't sing. You thought you could sing or you were gonna write or, or you were gonna draw or you were gonna create something. I couldn't begin to imagine who I would be had that space not intervened in my life at the point at which it did. Hole in the wall, part of my language, but like that hole in the wall, that's that was love. 